Homework 3.5, Rational Functions, Video 2. The following video is associated with questions 1 through 6 on your homework. In the previous video, we took a look at Desmos.com and a graph in there, and we saw a picture that looks something like this. And we talked a little bit about the role of these vertical lines, these dotted lines, excuse me, and they were called asymptotes. For example, this vertical line is a vertical asymptote. And specifically, its equation was x equals 2. Now in the future, I'll abbreviate vertical asymptote VA, such as over here. There's a vertical asymptote here, but its equation is x equals negative 3. But you can also have a horizontal asymptote. And since this is the only one, and I haven't written the phrase out yet, I'll write it out this time, but in the future, I will abbreviate it HA, horizontal asymptote. And in this case, the equation of that one is y equals negative 1. The role of the asymptotes um, are basically to dictate what happens as the graph gets closer to it. But how can we actually represent that symbolically? In other words, how can we describe asymptotic behavior? It's the correct phrase for an easy idea. Well, in order to do that, I need to remind you about the arrow that I introduced in the previous video for the word approaches. Because we're going to see a lot of statements about things approaching things. Uh, and there's four main types. Uh, two of them are easy. X approaches infinity or X approaches negative infinity. That just means X goes really far that way or X goes really far that way. Um, but X can also approach a number. But when you approach a number, you can approach it from either the left side or the right side. Uh, I, should, I should point out right now that for those of you who are heading towards calculus, you will see this notation early and often. But for our purposes, it's just going to describe some algebraic phenomena. So when you see something like x pointing to a 3 with a plus where you would expect an exponent, that means that x approaches 3 from the right. Think of a number line and the number 3. Let's say I'm at the 3. To approach 3 from the right means that you're on the right side of 3 getting closer. So for example, give me a number greater than 3, 4. Now give me a number closer, but it's still greater, 3.1. Give me a number that's even closer, but it's still greater than 3, 3.01. So approaching is like you have a sequence of numbers that gets progressively closer to a given value. Coming in from the right means that you have greater numbers that are, that are getting smaller. Coming in from the left means that you have lesser numbers that are getting bigger. For example, if I were approaching 3 from the left, the symbol being a negative sign in the exponent, now that means I've got numbers less than me that are getting closer to me. For example, if I'm 3, give me a number less than 3. 2. Okay, give me a number that's still less than 3 but closer than that. 2.9. Okay, give me a number closer than that, 2.99. No, uh, the, uh, the decimals, the real numbers, are so densely packed that I can always get closer without ever actually getting there. So it stands for reason that approaching something is a legitimate concept, especially when you're talking about real numbers. So how do we describe asymptotic behavior, how a graph behaves around its asymptotes, using this approaches, approaches notation? Well, everywhere there's an arrow, there's a statement of the form, if, the, if x approaches something, then y approaches something. So all of these are going to say the same thing. And excuse me, instead of saying y, we're going to say f of x. Because this is the graph of y equals some function of x. So for example, let's take this arrow here. What is this arrow saying about the x values? They're going forever to the right. So we could start this by saying if x approaches infinity, then... What is the function value approaching? In other words, what is the y approaching? Well, a horizontal asymptote dictates end behavior. Remember previously with polynomials, end behavior was both ends rise, both ends fall, or each one does one thing and the other does the other. In some rational functions, the end behavior isn't rising or falling. The end behavior is your graph starts to taper off to a certain value. 
A horizontal asymptote will illustrate that value. So, as we go forever to the right, the y values are getting closer to this y value. So we could say if x approaches infinity, then f of x approaches negative 1. The y value approaches negative 1. What can we say over here? Almost the same thing. But x is not approaching infinity because infinity is that way. Forever to the left is negative infinity. So if, f of, if x approaches negative infinity, then what is the function value approaching? In other words, what is y approaching? It's supposed to be an arrow. You've got to draw better than that. Well, the same horizontal asymptote is dictating the same end behavior. The further out you go to the left, the closer this graph gets to y equals negative 1. So for a horizontal asymptote's end behavior, it's describing what happens as x approaches negative infinity, and what's happening is x approaches positive infinity. Now you may be thinking, are they ever different? For rational functions, no. But there are other functions that have two horizontal asymptotes, one for the positive end, one for the negative end. But for rational functions, the horizontal asymptote will be unique. Now for the vertical asymptotes, we have two vertical asymptotes, but we have four arrows to describe asymptotic behavior, such as this one. So how would we describe this one? Well, think about approaching this in terms of being on the graph and you're, you're riding a roller coaster and getting closer to this line. So let's say, well, let me set up a little cart, a little roller coaster cart here. And here's a person riding it. Whee! And they're getting closer to this asymptote. So they're, they're moving that way. What is the x value approaching? In other words, what is the x value of the dotted line that I'm getting closer to? It's approaching negative 3. But we have to be more descriptive, because when you approach a number, you can approach it from either side. Since we're coming in from the left side of negative 3, you would put a minus up where you would normally see an exponent, and this says if x approaches negative 3 from the left, then f of x approaches well, what are the y values doing as we approach this line? They're plummeting down. How far will they go? Forever down towards negative infinity. So as x approaches negative 3 from the left, my y values are going down. But what happens if I approach it from the, from the right? Get rid of that. If x approaches negative 3 but from the right side of it, so now we're on the roller coaster over here, and we're approaching from the right, which ironically means we're moving towards the left. As we get closer and closer to th negative 3 from the right side, where are the y's going? Up to infinity. So if x approaches negative 3 from the right, then f of x approaches infinity because the y values are getting higher. Now we can say the same thing for these two. You might want to pause the video and see if you can write the, the statements for both ends on either side of this vertical asymptote. Remember, this was at x equals 2. On this one, we're saying x approaches this dotted line at 2, but is it approaching it from the left or the right? From the left. So if x approaches 2, if x approaches 2 from the left, then... What is f of x approaching? What are the y values doing? Going up to infinity. And for this one down here, if x approaches 2, we're still approaching 2, but we're approaching it from the right side, so a little plus up here, then what are the y values approaching? Negative infinity. So to summarize, for a horizontal asymptote, you say if x approaches infinity or negative infinity, then what are the y values leveling off to? And for the vertical asymptotes, you say if x approaches that vertical asymptote from the left or the right, which infinity are the y's going to? That's what makes them vertical asymptotes. They cause the graph to blow up positive or negative. 